Right, this is the start of building a um, core flute boat. Some plans that I got off the internet, and we're gonna make this a little electric powered speedboat. Um, yeah, the first drum we had was core flute in Australia. Uh, in the US, they talk about getting it from Home Depot and that that was easy. It was incredibly difficult, even though I live in a very big city. Getting a hold of core flute was nearly impossible. Um, what I ended up doing was I got this, this bigger stuff, which is 20... Oh, uh, well, it's what the American guys who build these boats refer to as an 8 foot by 4 foot. I mean, it's 22, 40 by 12, 20. Um, you need to make these boats out of one big sheet of this. And um, that this stuff is impossible to get everywhere a special order. Bunnings had a big sheet of it, but um, it was only like three mil, and I think five mil is the most they had. The Americans talk about using six mil. We couldn't get that. We got five or eight. Five I thought was too small. The five stuff, I have a sheet of it over there. It's very lightweight. Um, and this is eight mil, which I... I wanted the strength in that. So what I also have here is um, 10 sheets of 5 mil, and I got the smaller stuff because what I, I'm going to use the 5 mil for is a deck on top of this. So this is the hull, one piece hull folded at the front um, with some marine ply on the back to mount the motor and then a, a deck on top which is going to be made out of the 5 mil which is lighter. Apologies for the sound, this is recording just off the camera. I'll dub it if it's really bad. So where we're up to. Boat is all measured up. Um, I got a bunch of nuts to do the corners and uh, a bit of silicon to seal the end. I got some zip ties. Again, uh, we, we can't get colors here like they could in the US. Um, but the best I could do was blue, white or black. I've got some tape which I'm going to seal the edges of the core flute. But for now what I'm going to do is make up the um, the tool with this washer that we can run along the lines and collapse so we can collapse the core flute stuff so we can fold it more easily. Right, here's the attack of this Bodgy as tool. Oh my god, that was seriously insanely hard because we were working with this 8mm core flute, not the 6mm that he worked with. And as I showed before, 5mm I have, which is really easy to bend. 6mm I'm sure would be a lot easier than this. This 8mm is just impossible. So I'm going to try and uh, screw or bolt that together. It's one side and then I'll try the other side basically by just heating it up insanely with an iron and then scoring and bending and scoring and just struggling with it and see if I can get it like that. Well I will be able to. It's just going to take two hours like that one. Well Again, after all that struggle, uh, this time was a bit faster because I heated it up a lot more. But we have the start of a boat. As you can see, and I think this is the learning, I'm going to go with 5mm next time. He went with 6mm. You can see there, because I've gone with 8mm for this, it's left that kind of gaping hole. Which doesn't look like a very efficient bow to me. I think the only way I'm going to solve that is if I put another bolt in here 
which sort of is another hole in the hull, but I don't think you're going to avoid it because that's I can't get enough pressure on that, and I don't want to go next to the edge. This stuff is just absolutely solid as a rock, so I'm going to put another screw a uh, bolt in that side and keep going. I think I'll give up for the day. Everything's very slow progress now because I'm tired. So I've just cut out the notches for the stand so I can fold the fold these end bits in. Okay, another day, another dot. We have cut out the rear deck and put the folds in and that's the fold for the seat. This sheet's a bit too small so it doesn't have a base plate bit there but that's okay, you can live with that. That's the front on there. Now what we're doing is putting a piece of wood at the front there to stop the bowing. I am. <laughs> I'll take it off after you go a little bit. Well, that's tilted high in the water. <laughs> 